Welcome back to America. Welcome. Wake up, America. We can't get our words out. <laughs> we, so we're we're going to talk to the doctor we, about this in a little while. <laughs> we have COVID braids. We did, we did work a couple of shifts last night. And, yes. And so we're a little tired. But it's been a long back, weekend, everyone. folks. <laughs> we need some more coffee. I'm Allison Millian alongside Tom Basile. Well, parents around the nation are learning to navigate and how to raise their children when so many institutions they rely on they appear to be driving a leftist agenda from public schools to libraries to kids' TV shows. That's right, and here to help provide us with some of those tools that every parent should have is contributing writer for the Deseret News and editor of the book series Heroes of Liberty, Bethany Mandel. Welcome back to Wake Up America. Bethany. Thank you so much. Good morning. Beth, we have them we here. We have them. I just was looking through. I said, this is great. My kids are going to love reading these, especially my youngest one. She's so much into history, so we can't wait to, to read these. But before we get into the book series, Heroes of Liberty, why is it so important for children to learn about these figures in American history? Because, I, you know, Tom and I were talking about it. They don't even really talk about history in school anymore. There's no time for it, they say. Yeah, no, that's absolutely right. When when you spend all of your time on woke indoctrination, all, all of those minutes <laughs> yeah. are taken away. Uh, so, you know, you, you can't get to, you can be a boy and a girl and also the Cold War. So obviously you have to go with the gender indoctrination. No, I'm, I'm kidding. But I mean, the reality is our, our school system is is not what it should be. And there's there's so much missing, you know, outside of sort of ideology. And this is the, the book series that we created, uh, the first three that we, we published are about Thomas Sowell, Ronald Reagan, Amy Coney Barrett. And they're not just about sort of these conservative figures, but they're also about sort of teaching children our, our morals and, and the things that we view are important. And so, you, you know, the, the Thomas Sowell book is sort of a little bit of a, a push against CRT. Mm -hmm. And the Amy Coney Barrett book is, is about teaching young girls, especially the importance and uh, the beauty of motherhood alongside professional achievement. Mm -hmm. And Ronald Reagan, I mean, there's so many lessons in there about the the kindest president that we've ever had and everything that he accomplished in the Cold War. And, and it also helps children form a personal relationship with these figures so that they can really sort of be rooting for them as yeah. they learn a little bit more about them as they grow up. And these were these were canceled by by Facebook at some point. Uh, you did get them back. You did get them back up. But they ob they objected to the to the content. Uh, and, and I have to tell you, Bethany, I'm so glad that you picked Thomas Sowell as, as one of your first books because he is mm -hmm. he is an American hero. Um, and unfortunately, because he is a black conservative, nobody likes to talk right. about him in sort of the mainstream in, in the mainstream media. Um, but uh, uh, but you know you've been such a strong advocate, you know, warning about the mental harm as well that these these COVID measures have taken uh, as we've been fighting the pandemic. Uh, what are the effects that masking and social distancing are having? And, and why can't we get government to realize just how damaging this has been? So I, I, I honestly, I'm not sure. And so the frustrating part is the U.S. Attorney, or Surgeon General, I'm sorry, the Surgeon General released a, a report urging people to take seriously the mental health health crisis that is happening among teens especially, but with children across the board. The, the toll is immeasurable, is, is the answer. I mean, uh, for the younger years, uh, for, you know, even infants, we're seeing reports of their IQ dropping by incredible percentage points, and it's because they can't see faces. And we used to understand the importance of seeing faces for, for infant development, and now we've completely ignored that, and everyone in a daycare pretty much around the country are masked with no end in sight. And then on the other side of the spectrum, we see students at Johns Hopkins University have to be boosted. They have to wear N95s. They can't, uh, they can't gather in groups. I mean, this is the lowest risk population, and they've already had three shots that they're mandated to have by their school, and they're still not allowed to live their normal lives. Allison and I were talking yesterday about how you can go in New York City, you can go mm -hmm. and sit for hours in a restaurant without a mask on, but our kids who are in school have to have masks on all the time, except when they don't because they're taking mask breaks. And I guess the virus just doesn't, you know, just knows not to kind of leave them alone during that time period. It makes no sense. No sense. No it sense. makes no sense. 
No. No, and my, my eight-year-old daughter, I ask her, well, honey, what's the lesson of COVID? And her answer is, it makes no sense. I'm like, yes, that's correct. She's right. She's right. The kids are, are always right. Bethany, um, we can't wait. So you've got more books coming out as well? I'm right. Yes, so uh, you can get them at heroesofliberty.com. Awesome. But we have a, a book on John Wayne coming out in February oh, wow. that our subscribers have first access to. Yeah, so it's about like manhood and honor and sort of the, the pushback against this toxic, toxic masculinity uh, push that progressives have now. That so is we awesome. We love it. On. Bethany, yeah. thank you thank so you. much. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks.